Rachel. Hi, Peter. My name is Leslie. I'm from Southern New Jersey. And I have a t-shirt problem. Uh, we've kind of immersed a collection of t-shirts from sporting events and charity events, uh, things we can't really part ways with. Um, and since working fully remote since pandemic, uh, you know, dress codes t-shirts here. I'm kind of an out of sight, out of mind person. Uh, so when I fold my t-shirts, they all go right here where I can see them. Uh, and when I get dressed for the day, I uh, just grab a t-shirt and get moving. My fiance is kind of the same way. So I would really like to use this chair again for my reading, uh, but I can't. Our dressers are full, closets are packed. Uh, so I could really use your help organizing these in a way that looks a little more <laughs> nice. Here's the thing. She's engaged. Leslie is engaged. Let's start with a broad thing. You don't want to be in a relationship with someone who doesn't honor and respect you. That relationship yep. won't last. It's the same with your space or with your closet. If you don't treat that space with honor and respect, if you don't respect the That's amount of physical, point. if you don't treat the physical space that you have, if you overload it, if you put too much stuff in there, you can never have a good relationship with your space. You just can't. When you step into that space, you feel overwhelmed or paralyzed or buried. So number one, start, and this is harsh, but it's true. Start respecting your space. So let's start. This is not first about organizing. It's about opening the space. So let's have a one quick tip about that. It's called what I, it's something that I call the lower third rule. Now listen up. If you have a stack of sweaters or T-shirts or anything like that, what happens is you wear your favourites, you launder them, and you put them back on, tap, on top of the pile. I can guarantee that the lower third of any pile of T-shirts or sweaters in your closet, you seldom or never wear. Go straight to your closet, don't even look at them, pull them out, and send them off to donation straight away. I promise you, you hardly ever wear them. The top third are the ones you wear most often, number one. Number two, Leslie, this is harsh. You have to start being an adult. You're no longer in college. You have to start getting that room to look like an adult lives here. So let's start one simple organizing solution. Once you declutter the items you don't use, here's a really simple solution, hanging solution for your closet for the T-shirts. It's a hanging organizer. You can drop it into your closet and basically color code your T-shirts. And the only reason I suggest you do that is because you're going to be very suddenly surprised at how many you have of the same color, because we all tend to focus on the one color. Separate them out. Number one, declutter. Number one, honor and respect your space. Number two, get them out of the bedroom into the closet. Number two, organize, cut down, simple hanging solution to maximize the space. Number three, make the bedroom a sanctuary, a haven, a retreat, especially for you and your fiance. So it looks like an adult's room, not a college student's room. I know that's harsh, but Leslie, that space should be the most romantic getaway space, not something that looks like a t-shirt jungle.